it was time to depart for our next destination, Santa Rosa Island. Channel Islands are an amazing place uh, that supports one of the highest diversities of marine life you can find in the United States. It's because the cold waters from the north come down the west coast, they mix with the warm waters that come up from Mexico, and the convergence zone is right at the Channel Islands. And so that supports a high productivity of marine life, and so you find a very high diversity of species, ranging from the smallest little krill all the way up to the world's largest animal, the blue whale. En route to Santa Rosa Island, we had the good fortune to see a blue whale, the largest mammal and possibly the largest animal ever to inhabit the earth. The experience of being so close to something so enormous that you could see only parts of its body at a time was positively overwhelming. As the boat prepared to dock at Santa Rosa, we gathered our packs and headed to shore to explore the second largest island in the Channel Islands National Park. We stopped to watch the boat pull away and then joined our island packer's guide and headed down the long, narrow pier to begin a tour of the island. Along the way, we noticed how the wind and waves had revealed strata lines along the rocky shoreline. Our hike took us on a vertical track that climbed the slopes and hillsides of the island. As we made our way upward, we continually stopped to catch our breath and to look back at the view from where we'd come. When we finally reached our destination, which was the top of a toy pine grove, we were rewarded with a first-hand view of what is considered one of the rarest pines in the world, the Torrey Pine. These are the last enduring members of a once widespread Pleistocene forest. In addition to unique plants, archeological sites have provided evidence of more than 13,000 years of native occupation of the islands. Many Chumash or island people can trace their ancestors to these islands of the national park. The Tomal, a plank canoe used by the Chumash, is the oldest example of ocean watercraft in North America. The Tomal allowed for an elaborate trade network between the islands and the mainland. In addition to humans, freshwater creeks that flow through the island's canyons have sustained wildlife for thousands of years. An endemic species, an example of dwarfism found on Santa Rosa Island, was the pygmy mammoth. A fossil skeleton discovered in 1994 in a dune is providing new insight into this poorly known animal. Much like the island fox, pygmy mammoths developed on the islands from full-sized ancestors which swam across the Santa Barbara Channel sometime during the Pleistocene. The crossing might well have occurred about 20,000 years ago when the sea level was lowest. These miniature mammoths, only four to six feet tall, once roamed island grasslands and forests. As we headed back down the trail, we stopped to admire the Torrey Pine Grove one more time. With the high humidity of the islands, conditions are perfect for lichens to grow on just about anything. Wildflowers flourish here, as does one unique plant known as Live Forever, or Dudleya, that calls the island home. Another specialty plant of the island is the ironwood tree. As their common name suggests, the wood of this species is very hard and heavy. As beautiful as the island was, it was time to get back to the boat. 